major ISPs are um, making the internet more and more expensive and one of their justifications is that there's out of control traffic and they need to deal with it in some way. Um, so clearly we, you know, our report shows that that's not true but we need more transparency to see if there is actual congestion in the network. Um, if, if how much does it actually cost them to deliver uh, the services in compared to what they're charging us so that we know if they're gouging us for sure. Like it's very clear um, to, to most uh, analysts that um, pricing is out of control in Canada. It's out of step uh, with global standards. But uh, it, it would be, we could better address the problem if we actually had the information. So we think that there should be a regular ISP compliance audits um, to, so that we can get that kind of information. Something that other countries are doing, uh, like the UK, is something called functional separa separation, which is um, separating out the business units of big telecom companies so that they don't have this conflict of interest between delivering access to the internet to their competitors and delivering access to um, people. Um, so it basically means that they're only in like one market um, rather than in like two or you know three or four in this case in Canada. Let's say Bell, for example. Um, Bell it has a retail service, uh, Simpatico, let's say, and they um, deliver the internet to individuals and businesses. They, so that's one unit, it's called the retail side. Then they have the other side, which is called wholesale, which is providing infrastructure access to, um, let's say, Tech Savvy or Akinac, which are independent, smaller ISPs. So the, the problem here is that they are imposing, uh, they're making those independent competitors pay really high fees and they're forcing them to adopt the same billing practices. So they can't, the independents can't effectively compete and thus they can kind of set the price and, and kind of price gouge us at will.